Uh, there we go. There we go. Ian Stringer, uh, Brendan Rogers is set now. Uh, Brendan, uh, Ian Stringer up in the commentary box. Um, I hope you can hear us. Just having a look at the stats after higher after that one. 71% possession, Brendan. 24 shots against Spurs, 7, 13 corners against their four. But of course, only one stat matters. Um, I, I wonder how you feel after that one. Yeah, a little bit frustrating, um, Ian, because I thought we, we started the game with, with confidence and our shape from from the first minute was was giving them a problem and then we um I'm disappointed with the first goal we conceded because we, we knew that their the threat was going to be counter attack, you know, and, and we had bodies enough bodies behind the ball whilst we were attacking to uh to deal with it. And then of course he gets turned, Harry makes a pass and, and then they get a bit of luck. So but okay, our response was really good. Um Larice makes a great save at one each for, you know, it could have gone to one each and, and we're playing with confidence. Uh, so getting at half time. Um, but we, we can see two disappointing goals from our perspective, you know, one from our corner and, and one from when they break away. And again, we've still got numbers. So it felt strange. We, we're three nil down yet. We, uh, we had played well in the game and actually pressed the game pretty well at times. Second half, it was, it was important that, you know, we we tried to we had to be more again more aggressive in, uh, as I said, in that counter press, and then we didn't give away so much. Um, but like you said, the players I give credit to them because they kept going, they kept fighting, they're still trying to get goals. You know, and we felt that one goal if we get if we get to three one, then uh, you know you can go on and the momentum can change. But um, but we just couldn't make the breakthrough. We we didn't concede, which was important. But um, but yeah, so you come off a little bit frustrated because it was there was an opportunity there for us and um, we just didn't quite take it. Uh, Brendan, you say enough bodies at the back, which of course there were, but um, pace seemed to expose you and counter-attack seemed to expose you. Do you give Son the credit for where he picked up the ball and where he kinds to, uh, tries to isolate and, you know, not running at the full-back and running at your third centre-half and trying to trying to expose Ryan Bennett. Is that good forward play or were you disappointed with the, how the pace was exposed at the back? No, I think the on the first one, I think we can deal with that better. But, but like you've seen Son do a number of times before, he has, uh, mm-hmm. his speed and, and, and timing of his movement was, was very, very good. So, um, but yeah, I felt obviously they got the luck on the, on the first one, obviously when he cuts inside and takes a huge deflection for, uh, to, to go 1-0 up. Uh, of course, he's going to have his moments, even if he can to press really well. You know, they're a team that they've got that individual quality that can that can break out. So, um, But I felt that we could have done better with the goals with a bit more aggression. Um, building consistency since the restart, Brendan, is, is clearly a problem. Can you put that down to anything? A good performance against Sheffield United, who... You know, doing very, very well in the Premier League this season, but but the struggle today. Are you able to put your finger on why the lack of consistency since the restart? Yeah, I, I thought today probably at times looked a little bit leggy. I thought in the in the first half, um, but, and of course we've had disruptions, we we injuries and whatnot. But that aside, now but we've we've probably um, like you say not been as consistent as what we would want. Um, but I don't want to. I don't want to be too negative with the players because there will be obviously disappointment from today. But we we go into a game next week where you know we have a shot at being in the Champions League. You know our, our target was to arrive in the top six, in which was you guys would have admit at the beginning of the season it would have been a, a great achievement for us. However, it's a thirty-eight game season, and and over the course of it, we have an opportunity to still be in there. So, uh, and uh, if we don't do it, of course there'll be. Uh, a bit of disappointment, but there'll also be, you know, gratification in terms of what the players have done and what they've given, and everything we'll, we'll take from the season will go away in the summer and, and look to be better next year. But we'll recover now and, and rest, and then have a real good week's training. And come next Sunday, we'll be absolutely given everything to uh, to win the game. It's set up beautifully, though, Brendan, isn't it? Because I know that Manchester United have. I've got another game they face West Ham United but ultimately you know sitting there right now kind of regardless of that result really you need to beat Manchester United a week today to qualify for the Champions League as you've just said will being the underdog maybe play into your hands with the likes of 
of Morgan, Schmeichel, Vardy that have been there before, that have been the underdog before. Big boys come to town and, and they're expected to do the business. Could you, could you try and will you try and draw on a bit of that next weekend? Well, we need to draw on everything. It, it's it's incredible, obviously, for, for media and, and telly and everything. It's an incredible uh, mm. turn up that that is the game, obviously the last game and uh, with so much on it. You know, so, um, but but we'll be ready for it. We'll, like I say, we, we've had two tough games in, in the four-day period, so we need to get away and uh, have a bit of recovery. But then we'll be we'll be ready come next Sunday, and uh, we'll give absolutely everything to get the result that we want. Final one from me, Brendan. If you wouldn't mind, is there an arm around Luke Thomas that may be needed because the young man's performed really well against Sheffield United? He's played well for for kind of 99% of the game today. I know there were a couple of errors. Is there a bit of job to try and pick his chin up, do you think? No, listen, he's been outstanding. You know, for a young boy at just turned 19 years of age, Ian, to come in and play at this level of game, I thought he was excellent today. Yep, his touch got away from him. But, but that's what it is with young players. You know, as a manager and a coach, I'll always give young players an opportunity. They're going to uh, they make the odd mistake and, and the learning from him is, you know, he'll see what it can actually happen and with a misplaced touch and pass. But his performance level over two games for a kid that's just come into it has been absolutely brilliant. So, um, so there's certainly no blame there. And, and that, that's my job always to, to pick up players and, and, uh, and focus on, on the positives of his performances because they've been outstanding. Absolutely right. I always appreciate your time, Brendan. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Ian. Thank you. Uh, Gary, Gary Carson, Rogers speaking. Hello, hello, Brendan. I know the stats in the end. Hi, Gary. I know the stats in the end don't matter, but you actually had those chances uh, on target. Uh, sorry, those chances overall. More than any team coming to a Tottenham stadium, any Tottenham stadium for six years. Obviously, this doesn't make a lot of difference. But the point I'm asking is, you played like that in the second half. You didn't at any point think about Potentially because it's so tight at the top, goal difference might be a factor just to sit on what you had. No, I, I think that, listen, I, I'm an attacking coach, so, um, and obviously to attack well, you need to defend well, and that was the disappointment for us in the first half. But our idea was to go and play. I, I'm, I'm very much performance. I'm disappointed with the result, of course, um, Gary, but, but the performance wise, we showed enough confidence and enough quality. The frustrating thing for us is we, 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 we knew where their strengths were and, uh, and, and we just, we didn't nullify it. But, uh, but there was a lot of positives in the game. Like you say, you know, okay, we're missing a lot of players, but the players that have come in have been, been outstanding. You know, big Wes Morgan's come in over the two games and um, like I said, he's given everything. You know, look, Thomas playing with, with that quality at that level. You know, was was superb. Young George Hurst coming into the game, he comes in, plays with confidence, gets a shot. Um, so, nah, it's like I said, we're disappointed with the result, but there was lots of the performance that uh, that pleased me, and um, we'll uh, we'll take that into our next and final game. Jose made that point actually to us, Brandon, that he felt for you with the injuries that, that you, you suffered. He knows how you feel. He said, obviously, on him earlier in the season. You had a little chat at the end, was it along those lines, what, what he said to you? Yeah, no, I, I think he recognised how well we played with with what we had available. And, but it's like the same for any any squad. Obviously, we, we're not as deep as, as some of the, the the other clubs, of course. But um, but listen, there's no arguments and there's no excuses. We, um, we, we, we played well in the game. We created opportunities. We Our attitude in the game was good. We're just disappointed with the... With, with a couple of the bits on the counter attack, and that just might have been uh, the intensity uh, of what we put into Thursday's game, and, and I felt we we're probably a little bit leggy for parts of that game. So, um, but attitude-wise, the players gave everything, and uh, like I say, we yeah missing players, but that's that's going to happen. Thanks, Brendan. Good luck next week. Cheers. Thank you. Uh, Jordan. Uh, Jordan. Hi, Jordan. He said your side didn't look comfortable uh, playing in a back five. Is that an assessment that you would agree with? Sorry, I didn't. I didn't hear that, Jordan. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. 
Sorry. Uh, Jose said afterwards that playing with the back five, your side didn't look comfortable playing with that. Is that something, is that an assessment that you agree with? No, no, not at all. Not at all. I think the, the players, we've played it throughout the season. Of course, there, there's more work needed on it. Um, but um, but no, that, that was, you know, it, it worked well against Sheffield United. It's worked well in other games. Um, so no, I... Uh, I didn't feel that was uh, that was right. Hi there, Brendan. Hi, Graham. You're, a, you're an attacking coach yourself. You're at home. Manchester United like to attack. Just you couldn't be set up much better, could you, for the entire nation watching this game next week? Oh no, it'll be absolutely perfect. It's it'll be all in. You know we. Uh, we will. We've the players have been absolutely fantastic until now, and we uh, we just need to recover now. Two tough games, um, so we'll recover the players, get them physically and mentally right, and then we'll have one last opportunity to uh, to, to arrive in that top four, and we uh, will come off the pitch having given everything in order to do that. So, um, so yeah, that, whatever the result was going to be today, we were going to have to get a result next week, and. Um, and to go to to win the game is, is exactly what we'll try and do. Yeah. Okay, Rob Tanner, please. Uh, Brendan, in terms of the Hi, pre-season goal, hiya, Brendan. In terms of the pre-season goals, you've you've reached them all in terms of what you set out to do to challenge the the big six to compete uh, for European football. Um, but can you understand a little bit of the um, disappointment some fans might feel? about the second half of the season if you don't make it to the Champions League? Yeah, I always feel and always will feel that, Rob, that despite however you do, there'll always be disappointment and there'll, there'll be that gratification from supporters as well. Some will look at it and, uh, and be disappointed if we don't make it. Others will look and, and, and gratify with the work that has been done you know, over the course of this season and uh, the last 17 months to put ourselves into this position. So um, so I know how football works. Uh, I know that it's that there'll be both feelings. So, uh, so yeah, but, um, but like I say, the, the, the players, what they've done in, in the 17 months to climb from where they have been and uh, to where they are now, uh, that we're competing, you know, that you look at, Tottenham's bench today. They took off two players worth over sixty million quid, and 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 uh, Bergwijn and, and Lamella coming off the bench, and and we are are fighting to to compete with that. So um, so for us, the of course you know we were you know in in a good position for a lot of the season, and we'll aim to finish in that top four. But uh, but yeah, the the players are given absolutely everything, and uh, like you see that they're out on the feet after this game. But we've got one more chance to to still be in there and, and let's see where we finish up. But the league is always over 38 games, Rob. People were talking about it after 20 games, 25 games. And with you guys, I was always cautious in terms of let's see where we are at the end of the season. Because teams, like you say, that have had poor starts and then they come well in the second part of the season, it will seem as if they've had a good season. For us, fantastic first period. And with all the inexperience in, in our team and squad, probably inconsistencies in the second half. But at worst we've ever dropped, it was probably par for where they maybe, uh, maybe are. And I think that what the players have done, you know, uh, has, has, has been fantastic, but still leaves us with great improvements to make. And, and we'll only get that through the experiences. Cheers, Rob. Okay, folks, I think we'll call it there. Thank you very much. Thank you.